Uh, how y'all doing? So this is a focus group. You're meant to talk to each other. You're meant to engage each other. You have one thing in common, which is you all voted for Trump. Some of you voted for him for different reasons. Some of you did not like Hillary Clinton. Some of you loved him. Some of you think that he has been much better than what you expected. Some of you think he's disappointed you. That's fine. Did you vote for Trump because of where he stood on the issues or because of his attributes and character traits? I'm just curious. I voted on the issues. How many of you voted on the issues? Okay, what were you looking for when you voted for Trump? Change, I guess. Did you get the change you were looking for? Mm, not really. I did. You did, clearly. Jerusalem's the capital of Israel. What, what was the change you were looking for when you voted for him? Uh, just everything to change. Healthcare, everything. We didn't get health care. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not because of him, we didn't get health care, because of the Congress. We didn't he wanted get us to have health care. So you blame Congress? Absolutely. Yes, for the health care I do. How many of you think that if the election were held today, you would vote for him again? Okay. Why not? I'm not one of the cult members who thinks everything he does is wonderful. Cult? There you go. Cult. The again. He, Trump was the right. Can I, can I say something? Trump is right. He could literally kill somebody on Fifth Avenue. You would still love well, him. Hillary's already Hillary. killed people. Oh, Hillary's Hillary the did devil. Kill people. Yeah, she's the devil. Yeah, you voted for Trump. I voted for Trump at a protest for Hillary, thinking he was maybe a populist. And boy, was I sold a bill of goods that's just not there. Well, you think Hillary would have been doing better today at this point? Hillary you think she would have the economy up where it's at today? Was a you think she'd have the, would she have had the black unemployment down to where it's at today? What are you talking about? As talking far as the about? stock market. When, when Obama was president, black unemployment was up to 50 some percent. I know, Obama was the black guy, we all hated him, no, I get that. I, no, I didn't it's hate him. I, I didn't hate him. You gotta remember one ass. thing. The bottom line is, you gotta respect the all. Hold on, That's hold what on, you respect. hold on. We were, what, three minutes into this conversation? Yeah. And this just exploded. Every time I raise the issue of Donald Trump, every time, this is what happens. So I have to ask you the question, is it possible that he is contributing to this no, tonality. The the media. Media. Is it possible? Trump can't let his, uh, let his accomplishments speak for themselves. He's far too thin-skinned, and his, 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 his nasty tweets and his preening are the things that are making the news. But you voted for him. Absolutely. And are you happy with that vote? I, I am still happy with that vote. I just wish he would grow up. I'm not sure the people who are speaking follow his tweets, because I follow every tweet every day, the minute he tweets them. And most of them are intelligent, enlightening tweets. I think so. And some of them are funny. I mean, he goes off the rails and once in a while, he's but brilliant. I think the he's a brilliant man. The Way more often. Absolutely time. brilliant. It's his only and the mainstream the media has no intention of giving him a break. So I think he's the best president we've ever had. Uh, hold on. Hold on. The best president we've ever had. The best president we've In ever had. In one year. In one year.